Hey, what's going down, guys? Jack Reeve, Talk Norris City here, back for another Predicted 11 video. It feels like it's been a while since we've done one of these. It's been the international break. Thankfully, it's all over. England had a good couple of wins. Finland had a good win as well. And to be honest, I don't really care about anything else that goes on. Timu Puki got a lovely assist in their game against Armenia. Um, Max Aaron's pulled through without injury. The same with Ben Godfrey. All of them pulled through without injury, which is the main issue with the international breaks as I'm always petrified especially when we're in a situation that we are now that the players are going to go out and they're going to be injured thankfully this time it hasn't happened we return with a game against Middlesbrough away that's a tough game 5 30 on Saturday another televised game um, this is starting to turn into a slight trend isn't it um, fantastic for the club extra TV revenue a bit of a pain for the fans before I go anywhere else a massive thank you to fans bet who have been fantastic sponsoring the content this season and have allowed us to continue doing what we do they have some really great offers they've got Timu Puki to score and Norwich City to win at five to one head over to fans bet links in the description below and if you want to request the bet head over to my Twitter and reply to the request to bet tweet and fans bet will get you some odds on that. Thank you to them once again. So, Borough, an interesting um, clash this. They're currently fifth, but I didn't actually realise how close it was from about fifth to eighth in the championship. I've just been looking at the top three for the past couple of months. I've, I've forgotten what the playoffs even are almost. Um, but I thought I'd look at the table to do some research. Funny enough, I do do a bit of research. Borough are fifth, however... Um, there's only one point between them and Preston, there, two points between them and Derby, um, and I think three points between them and Bristol City. So if they were to lose this Saturday, there is a very good chance that they will no longer be in the playoffs. I've spoke to a lot of Borough fans this season, um, and none of them have been happy with the football they've seen. Yes, they are fairly high up the table, but you look at their squad, they should probably be doing better. The style of football hasn't been that great. Um, we've scored 37, 37 more goals than them this season. I think their only saving grace is the fact that they've got the best defensive record in the division. They've conceded just 31 all season. So an interesting matchup. Um, this is the team I'm going to go for. Tim Krul in goal. You know, my thoughts on, on Timmy. He's starting to really grow into the role nicely. Um, and of course, we don't have anyone else to fill that role, really. In at left-back, Jamal Lewis, who had a good couple of games um, out on international break, I think. I saw a fantastic little montage of him for the Northern Ireland squad. Centre-back partnership, I'm going to stick with Christoph Zimmerman and Ben Godfrey. Now, you've still got, which is unbelievable to think, really, Tim Close and Grant Hanley both sitting on the bench, both desperate to be playing football. So it's going to be fascinating to see how um, Daniel Farker plays his cards with the, with the centre-back partnership because you've got two very experienced international centre-backs sitting on the bench. But at the moment, we're going on form and Zimmerman and Godfrey have been fantastic. Right back, Max Ahrens, who for me is still my player of the season. I think he's been absolutely magnificent. And I think if it wasn't for him, we certainly wouldn't be first in the table. The midfield partnership, which is kind of, well, Daniel Fark hasn't changed it too much in recent weeks, but I've been more curious about this in my mind than any other position because we've got options um, and I still don't think Kenny McLean is a central midfielder. I feel like he's a number 10, but he's scoring goals and he's doing well. So I'm going to leave him in there. Um, I'm going to leave him in there. Next to him is Tom Tribal. Now, I'm still not overly convinced about that midfield partnership, but... I think it's unbeaten the times we've played with it. We've won six games in a row with this setup. You can't argue with that. You stick with it. In at left wing, Onel Hernandez, who, yeah, he's been brilliant, isn't he? He's so exciting to watch. I'm not going to get carried away. I don't think he's um, he's a Premier League footballer. I'm really hoping I'm proven wrong. As I say, I'm not getting carried away. We're not in the Premier League yet. Um, but I think that might be a position we might need to strengthen. But at the same time, he's fantastic in the championship. He's so exciting to watch and he moves the phases of play really, really nicely. Um, central attacking midfield, Emi Buendia, once again, he is exceptional. 
Um, no, actually, I've done this completely wrong. Steepman goes in there, doesn't he? It's been a while since I've done one of these. Steepman in there, Buendia out there. Up front, Timu Puki, who against Italy was essentially chasing shadows. I think he was just not wanting to get injured. <clears throat> up against Armenia, he looked far better. Um, he is going to be exhausted. He will have played... If we play him from now until the end of the season, he would have essentially played 50 games, 55 games this season. That's a lot of football um, for a 29-year-old to be playing. So I think that's unchanged, isn't it, from, from the last game. I just, I just feel confident. I just feel really confident. Borough have got a good defensive record, but with this front four, I mean, come on, that is going to frighten any team, whether you're Arsenal... Middlesbrough or Manchester City, um, that will scare teams. Defensively, look, we've leaked goals this season, but when you're playing the style of football we are, there are going to be goals leaked at the back. I am okay with that, as long as they're not stupid mistakes and they're mistakes that come because we're trying to throw men forwards to score goals. I'm going to Middlesbrough confident. They don't scare me. With that being said, they'll probably beat us now. But I'm excited to see how we go up against another challenge. It should, it, I've talked about it all season, haven't we? We keep getting thrown different challenges and Farker and his players and Weber just keep on responding. And that's what champions do. Um, so that's that. Let me know your thoughts on the team down in the comments section below. Finally, I just want to say a massive thank you for your love and support and guidance with the John Ruddy podcast. It's now our second most watched podcast ever. I think it will probably become our most watched ever. Sorry to Russ. Uh, I think Ruddy's about to knock you off top spot with that one. Um, but unbelievable reception. If you haven't already seen it, it's the last video we uploaded on the channel. Go and check it out. Or we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Stitcher, whatever podcast you listen to. Go over and listen to it. There's loads of really nice nuggets in there. It's an hour and 42 minutes long. Maybe whack it on the way up to Middlesbrough. You could listen to it about seven times over because that's a long journey. Uh, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.